This girl grew up with the ability to recognize lies. Whenever a person tells a lie, there's a ding in her ear. She grew up with the ability to see through the evils of adults. She wanted to use this ability to become a prosecutor. After receiving a commission from a classmate, she was paid 50,000 yen to identify her boyfriend's true feelings. To recognize her boyfriend's true feelings, it was like a new world had opened up for Annie. From then on, her life went from bad to worse. She had a luxury car and a handsome bodyguard. One day, Annie received a commission from a rich woman to find out if the boy was in love with her, whether a boy really loved her, so that the man wouldn't know. It was a test. Annie appeared as the woman's cousin. She started by asking a few common questions. She realized that the other man was telling the truth. Then she asked him if he was seeing his sister for her money. This question made the man slightly embarrassed. The rich woman then explained. Her sister was just worried about being cheated. In order to reassure her, let the man answer. He struggled with the question. The man said he went out with the rich woman because of money. But after spending time with her, he had fallen in love with her. The rich woman was looking forward to Anne's reply. When she heard it, the rich woman's heart melted. She was staring at the guy and wanted to eat him right now. At that moment, the servant came to pour tea. She learned that he was truly in love with her. The rich woman treated her as one of her own. She introduced the man to the servant, but and recognized it. You know each other, she said. The servant was so frightened he couldn't hold the teapot. That was a death sentence for the man. A moment ago, he was looking forward to the wedding, but now he finds his mistress right in front of him. The maid quickly knelt down and apologized. The man tried to defend himself. He even thinks Anne's a liar. He was ready to beat her up, but Annie's chauffeur stopped him in time. As Annie was leaving, the rich woman asked one last question for the man to answer. Between between the servant and herself. Between the servant and herself. Annie didn't expect. The rich woman was so quick to settle the bill. She realized that rich people are different. Although Annie claimed she was a trapper possessed by a god. But she's not. She had this ability since she was born. When her poverty-stricken mother was pregnant. When she was pregnant, she prayed to a different god every day to grant her child the gift of riches. I don't know which god granted the mother's wish. Annie really did have powers. As she came into contact with more and more rich people, she realized that this business needed a hidden place. Annie ran a tarot cafe. Customers have to match the code words, and they have to be recommended by an acquaintance. The receptionist will only open the secret door. The light in here contrasts greatly with the atmosphere outside. Seeing this place, clients will trust Annie's abilities. She's a Korean actress who exploded onto the scene. She left early at her own celebration party to some man's house and suggests that he should take her. And it's Anna's songwriter, Mike. Mike didn't go looking for a woman. Instead, he kicked Anna right down the stairs. The scene was captured by a paparazzo who was following her. Their goal was to, to find the songwriter who made Anna famous, because Mike's songs were all gold. But he's never been seen in public, not even at the awards. That's why the people are talking about him. If we can reveal his true colors, I'm sure it would make headlines. Day 2. Mike comes back from a night out. The paparazzi are already here, confirming that it's Michael. The reporter grabbed his camera. The flickering lights brought back bad memories for Mike. He was once thought to be a murderer, although there was no evidence. But this past has become a shadow in his heart. That's why he didn't dare to see anyone. Mike turned around and got into the lift. He went back to his house. But before he could recover, a drone rose up outside his window, so he closed the curtains. His best friend found Mike. He's Anna's agent. He and Anna were the only ones who knew about Mike's past. He told Mike, he's been exposed. He found him a new place. Even Anna doesn't know where it is. But Michael said to close the curtains. Because his girlfriend died in front of him. It became a nightmare for Dr. Mike. Eventually, at the urging of his friends, Mike decided to move there. He put on a black suit. He put on a mask and went out. Then, a woman screamed in an alley. The next day, a notice was posted in the neighborhood. Wanted for forced indecent assault. The photo of the suspect was dressed in black, wearing a mask. This caused panic among the residents. That night, a female female shop assistant closed the shop after work. She saw the man in black approaching her through the glass. She had mace in her bag. After breaking free, the shop assistant rushed to escape. The man who caught up with her jumped on her. The contents of her bag were scattered all over the place. Luckily, she had the spray when it mattered. The shopkeepers of the mall are having a party, listening to the president's passionate speech. They were all drifting off to sleep. Suddenly the shop girl screamed. The suspect was afraid that someone would come over. He turned around and ran away. The sound was heard at the party. Everyone went out to see what was going on. The shop girl told them, the suspect has reappeared. She pointed out the direction of the suspect's escape. Everyone split up to catch him. The girl recognized the victim as a coffee shop clerk. It didn't take long. Someone spotted the suspect. Taking this opportunity, the man in black rushed to escape, but he was blocked from all sides. With the help of everyone, the molester was caught in the act, and claimed that they had the wrong man. And that's when, Annie came forward. Annie, who could spot a lie, knew. The man in black wasn't lying. He wasn't the suspect. The crowd questioned how he could be so sure. The man in black who was caught was Michael. When he saw Annie's face, he was shocked, until the familiar words resurfaced. Mike finally remembered who this woman was. Five years ago, when he was under suspicion, it was Annie who believed in him.
this woman has a lie detector in her ear. When a lie enters her ear, a beep sounds. With this ability, the woman got rich. She caught a suspect in her neighborhood. The suspect said they had the wrong man. Annie's ears don't beep. She vouched for Mike, said he wasn't the suspect. But the fat lady didn't know that. Annie's a walking lie detector. Ask her what makes her so sure. Based on Annie's word, the victimized clerk saw her boss in trouble. She came up to Mike and sniffed him. She sprayed the suspect with perfume when she broke away. But he didn't smell like that. The men went one by one. He smelled the perfume on the onlookers and found that his jacket was black and white and found a black mask in his pocket. The innocent Mike was cleared of any wrongdoing. Mike asked Annie why she was helping him, if she knew him. Annie's answer was the same as it was five years ago. She said it because she knew he wasn't a criminal. Mike didn't reply. He was sociopathic and just wanted to get out of the crowded area. That day, Annie received a lie detector test from a lady, what she didn't expect. She had to climb a mountain because the lady wanted to buy a piece of land for development. When both of them couldn't climb the mountain, a little deer appeared here. Madam was instantly attracted to the little animal. <laughs> The roe deer couldn't get enough of the intermediary's lies. The man continued to explain. From the moment he opened his mouth, Anne's ears kept beeping, and her head was buzzing. She told the lady in her ear that what the agent said was a lie. Luckily she brought Annie here, or else she would have been cheated by the shady agent. After this commission, Anne's coffers had a new member. On the other side, Mike had just finished a gig in a pub. He's not actually a sociopath, and he was enjoying himself on stage. But due to his girlfriend's disappearance, he was thought to be a murderer. He's been afraid to show his true colors. He's looking for fun in this familiar bar, so he can only be a behind-the-scenes composer. But even so, it didn't hide his excellence. He wrote some of the best songs in the city. After this performance, a woman approached him. She wanted to invite Mike for a drink, but she refused. The woman said she'd seen him perform here often. Can we see his face? She took off his sunglasses. Mike was prepared for this and left the room under the woman's urgent gaze. Annie went home and showered. She puts on a Manchester United shirt. She's an avid Manchester United fan. She couldn't miss the game tonight. This woke up Mike, who lived next door. His new house is next door to Annie's. He came out on the balcony to see what was going on. Turns out he's an avid fan, too. Pulls out his jersey. Turn on your mobile phones to watch the game. They all ordered takeaway. You can't have a situation like this without fright chicken and beer. Mike opened the door. Make sure it's clear and get the takeout. He was just about to go in. And then Annie came out. They bumped into each other head on. In the midst of the panic, Mike never got the code right. It took a few tries to get back to his room, but Annie couldn't figure it out. Does this man wear a mask at home? What's wrong with him? Tonight's match is Manchester United versus Liverpool. Liverpool lost. Hearing Annie's victory cheer made Mike even more upset. He closed the balcony door. The next day, the rivals met again. But the man seemed to see him and walked slowly towards him, so scared that Mike quickly put on a mask. It turned out that the driver did not see him, but was attracted by this supercar. He wanted to show off in front of his friends, grabbed his mobile phone and took a picture. Mike had to get out of the car. The guy didn't expect to see his dream car. He wanted to take a picture and show it off to his friends. The phone slipped and hit the car. They didn't know the owner was in the car. The door suddenly opens. She saw the man coming out. The driver was Annie's mysterious neighbor. She expected him to be furious. She didn't expect Mike to say it was alright. Annie thought it was weird. He wasn't lying when he said it was okay. She went back to her car. Annie questioned her ability to lie. In all the lies she'd heard, it's okay had never been a lie. This man really thought it was okay. Annie was amazed. One, one. Ever since Mike won the Golden Melody Award, Jack has harbored a grudge against Mike. He even thinks he copied his own work. So he went to Anna's manager and forced him to ask Michael out to meet him alone or else he'd get a new job. And that's when the agent got to Mike after he explained the situation and Mike refused to do it. The agent had to find a replacement. The car was too conspicuous. Mike asked the agent to get him a cheaper car. As he was leaving, Mike stopped him. He didn't think it was a good idea because when two composers talk, there would be a lot of talk about music. The understudy would definitely be exposed. But Annie just saw it until the manager took his sports car. Annie thought she was being 
being approached by a debtor, took his car to pay off the debt. No wonder she wears a mask all the time. She was afraid of being chased. The next day, a mysterious customer came to Annie's cafe. This man was Jack, who was going to meet Mike. He came to Annie. He came to Annie to ask her to lie about Mike. At the time, Annie didn't know that her neighbor was Mike. Jack brought Annie to the restaurant ahead of time. He told Annie to hide in a secret room. This time Jack finally met Mike. He's wearing sunglasses, which makes Jack suspicious. Asked him if he was the real Mike. With the sensors vibrating once he proved he wasn't lying. After a few drinks, Jack saw that the pleasantries were almost over. Jack asked the question he wanted to know the most. But Mike said he didn't know the song. And yet, Annie heard Jack say he didn't plagiarize. She heard that Jack was lying, and what he thought was the result was overturned. Jack was furious, and as he watched, Mike thought it was about time to leave, but Jack stopped him. <laughs> Annie saw him shaking the bottle of coke, then she opened it in Mike's face, and bared it all over Mike's face. And that's when Annie stepped in, because she couldn't stand Jack's behavior. Mike just walked away. Jack tried to stop him, but the table knocked him to the floor, and he looked like a pussy. Mike sighed and left. Jack took it out on Annie, said she was the god of truth. She's a lying ghost. Annie came back downstairs, and saw a drunken Mike. Annie got close enough to check him out, noticed the stain on his collar. Is he the mysterious Mike? I wanted to lift his mask to get a better look, but she didn't think it was a good idea. But her curiosity got the better of her. But in the end, Annie couldn't resist. The moment she lifted the mask and saw his face, his face was as handsome as a knife. Annie blushed. She thought of putting the mask back on, so he wouldn't know. But then Mike woke up. <laughs>